Sizin hoş hoş. Otigani rei. Hoş hoş. Ja. Okay. Guys, is a moment the niche quick be each ni san chi go rock sich at you hanta ich ni san chi go rock sich at you and ips ich ni san chi hanta ich ni san chi and the arms forward ich ni san chi go rock sich at hanta ich ni san chi go rock Sit. Uh, just a warm up. We do some lunges. Seven four each. And back. Ni. San. Chi. Go. Ri. Sit. And arch. Okay, now ready, us, us. Okay, we're going to start with, for, let me just introduce the two instructors. Well, my name is Henny Bosman, this is Sensei Henry, and this is Sensei Neil, us. They actually lived in Japan together for three months, about six years ago, at Uchideshi. And um, they're going to be helping with the class today. Sensei Henry is going to start off with some kill. This is it, us, us, us. So I want your right leg to go out into Kibirachi, double block. So make sure when you're in Kibirachi, I'm going to go a bit further back. Your toes are pointed forward, your knees are bent, and your back is up straight. So if I go to the side, my back isn't over, my back's up straight. Second Shudansky. Itch. Ni. Sun. Chi. Go. Ro. Hai. Zai. Hai. Hitch. Hai. Ni. Hai. Sun. Hai. Chi. Hai. Go. Hai. Re. Hai. Switch. Hai. Hunch. Hai. Ku. Hai. Ju. Hai. Make sure the elbow is back. Make sure the two arms work at the same time. Don't breathe first. Zay, hi, inch, hi, knee, hi, sun, hi, she, hi, go, hi, rear, hi, switch, hi, hunch, hi, cue, hi, 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 Go, chop, rip, chop, switch, chop, hunch, chop, coo, chop, two, chop. It does three. It's a point very important to pull back strongly. Hitch, knee, hun, chee, go, roll, hey, day, ha, hitch, ha, knee, ha, sun, chop, she, chop, go, the guy covers up to go around the kiddies. Pitch, knee, done, three, go, roll, fight, jump, what, pitch, knee, jump, sun, jump, she, jump. Go, chop, rear, chop, switch, chop, hunch, chop, coo, chop, juu, chop. Gonna add two elbow strikes. The first one is Joga ni juuch. Right to the jaw, very effective technique. Hitch, knee. Try to try to keep it down. Sun, chi, go, roll, hey, three, chop. Hitch, chop, knee, chop, sun, key, go, chop, rear, switch, hunch, chop, cue, chop, 
to rush in here. You see, the information comes in, maybe around your body. Guys, you remember when you come in to what do they call it? Yep. To yeah. mute your because these people oh, yeah. people we can hear you. Okay, last one, keep it at you. Hey! Roshi Jati. The other hand goes down to push your opponent down before you strike him on the spine. Hitch. D. Sun. Chi. Go. Rob. Hi. See, it does a very big movement. D. Hi. Hitch. Hi. Knee. Hi. Sun. Hi. Chi. Hi. Go. Hi. Rear. Hi. Sitch. Hi. Hatch, hi, ku, hi, ju, hi. I show the hands together. This dance makes your legs strong. But obviously, never fight the opponent from the front like this. It's always done to the side. Um, but it's really a stance to develop power in your legs. Hurry, us, hurry, us, and tidy up. Okay, guys, next I will do the stow strikes. Stow is the side of your hand. It's a very powerful technique. Please have your thumb there, not inside your hand. And your hand should be flat. Don't make your hand round, but make it flat. You can see there, it must be flat, not, not round. Um, so, so Masuyama, this is one of his most powerful techniques. And um, you should chop off the top of head. Heads of bottles, with the outer bottles falling over. Hidari Sanchen Dachi, Oi. Tai, Tai. So now you're in the left Sanchen Dachi. Please check your stance, see your toes are turned in. Your legs must be bent and again proper posture. First one we do a Sto, Yoko, Gaman, Uchi. Gaman means head, uh, Yoko means side, Sto to the strike to the side of the head. Hitch, you see here, I push the opponent down and I strike. Knee, sun, chi, go, try and make a circle. Roar! Let's go. Hey, kai, hitch, yeah, knee, yeah, sun, yeah, chi, yeah, go, yeah, break, yeah, hitch, yeah, hitch, yeah, kill, yeah. Ch yeah, H yeah, Ni yeah, Sun yeah, Chi yeah, Go yeah, Rook yeah, H yeah, H yeah, K yeah, Ch yeah. This one's down so called to attack the collarbone down onto the collarbone. H again, you push up. Maybe somebody try and grab you. Push his hands down and strike. Ni. Sun, Chi, Go, Ro, Z, K, H, Yo, Ni, Yo, Sun, Yo, Chi, Yo, Go, Yo, Rook, Yo, Z, Yo, H, Yo, K, Yo, J, Yo, H, Yo, Ni, Yo, Sun, Yo, Chi, Yo, Go, Yo, Rook, Yo. Touch you, touch you, kill you, kill you. Next one, stones are going to go with straight attack, like a looking day, like looking day, and then your finger go up. You attack the collarbone from the front. Itch, knee, sun, chi, go, rock. You say, yeah, touch you, knee, yeah. Sun, yeah, she, yeah, go, yeah, break, yeah, take, yeah, punch, yeah, kill, yeah, chill, yeah, hate, yeah, knee, yeah, sun, yeah, she, yeah, go, yeah, break, yeah, take, yeah, punch, yeah, kill, yeah, chill, yeah. You see, on every technique, I use my hips. Very important for power. 
Next one, go with you. Here you hip movement. As you wind up, you go back, strike, and use your hip and recover a bit. Itch, knee. Also important, don't pull in before you strike. Sun, she, go, ro, you see, yeah, H, yeah, knee, yeah, sun, yeah, she, yeah, go, yeah, break, yeah, touch, yeah, H, yeah, Q, yeah, J, yeah, H, yeah, knee, yeah, sun, yeah, she, yeah, go, yeah, break, yeah. Such here, punch here, kill here, nature here. Last one, stone, he's a witch. He's a mean to your spleen or the liver. He don't mean spleen, but you either strike the spleen or the liver. Itch almost remind me of a golf, golf shop. Knee, sun, chi, go, bro. Also use your hips. You see, yeah, H, yeah, me, yeah, sun, yeah, she, yeah, go, yeah, break, yeah, touch, yeah, H, yeah, Q, yeah, Q, yeah, H, yeah, me, yeah, sun, yeah, she, yeah, go, yeah, break, yeah, touch, yeah, H, yeah, Q, yeah, nature, yeah, me. Read us. Thank you guys for doing this today. Next is Neil, we'll do some kicks with you. Thank you for us. Us. Okay, let's warm up our legs first. So, gun cover, let's do some Uchimawashi and Sotomashi Kiyagi, starting with Uchimawashi Kiyagi. Ready? Itch. Me. San. Chi, go, run, and get tight. Itch, knee, sun, hey, chi, hey, go, hey, break, hey, touch, hey, touch, hey, chi, hey, chi, hey. And very important, guys, when your foot comes down, it must make a noise. You see the, 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 the foot, big toe up, small toe down. If you're there, you make contact with the side. So when you bring it down, it mustn't fall onto the ground, and the stance must be narrow. Can you do 10 more, please? Us. You say, hey, H, hey, knee, hey, thumb, hey, G, hey, go, hey, break, hey. Touch, hey, touch, hey, kill, hey, kill, hey. So, the more she gets. Now, the same foot position, but now you're kicking with the bottom of your foot. On your right. Itch, knee, sun, chi, go, roll, hey. You see that it actually goes right through the target. Don't stop with the target. Go through the top. Today, hey, hitch, hey, knee, hey, sun, hey, chi, hey, go, hey, rear, hey, switch, hey, touch, hey, two, hey, two, hey, itch, hey, knee, hey, sun, hey, chi, hey, go, hey. Rear, hey, switch, hey, touch, hey, two, hey, do, hey. Although this kick comes from the side, you can slightly change your kick to do a cut again. You say, us, us, maybe you can just do a cut again if you are down onto my arm, us. You see, so it's up and down onto the face. Very effective technique. Please practice up, see how high you can get it up. And you may be from this side to see how you facing this way. This is good. You're fighting stall, see back. See how high you can get it up and swing it down. Higher up again. 
So you get a bit of right up, a little bit more to be able to be effective. Us, us. Okay, next one, he's again. Us. Next one is knee kick, he's again. You try to move your knee as fast as possible because that is what knocks your opponent out. Not the power, but the speed. Try and aim for the for the uh, sternum, the breastbone. If you're tall, you can try, try for the chin. And in the self defense situation for the draw. Hitch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Roll. Hey! Just turn to the side. Uh, just do a kick and see that you bend your leg. Kick each. That must be right back. That makes more power than here. Because here, this power is not going to go through to the knee. Try and have it there. Okay. Hey! Hitch. Hey! B, kick, sun, kick, chi, kick, go, kick, brick, kick, switch, kick, punch, kick, 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 do, kick. The next kick I want you to do is a king together, which is the groin kick. This is a kick which teaches you to bend your leg and really whip it. And this is very effective in a real situation. And I'll use this in the tournament, I'm sure you know. Pitch. Knee, sun, chi, go, bro, hey! Knee, hey! Hitch, hey! Knee, hey! Sun, hey! Chi, hey! Go, hey! Rear, hey! Switch, hey! Hunch, hey! Chi, hey! Ju, hey! I'll keep almost a minute and shoot on my giri, knee up and kick into the body. Try not to drop your hands. Try not to become shorter when you keep. You keep your posture when you keep. Don't drop your body. Pitch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Roll. Hey. Today. Hey. Pitch. Hey. Knee. Hey. Sun. Hey. Chi. Hey. Go. Hey. Rick. Hey. Switch. Hey. Hutch, hey! Two, hey! Two, hey! I get it, Joe, then. So now the knee must really come up and you can kick straight under the chin. Very effective technique. And the secret here is to bend your leg a lot. That will enable the kick to go forward. So you come over the guy's hands. Hitch! Knee! Sun! Chi! Go! Roll! Hey! Today! Hey! Hitch! Hey! Knee! Hey! Sun! Hey! She! Hey! Roll! Hey! Roll! Hey! Switch! Hey! Hutch! Hey! Do! Hey! Do! Hey! End of the washing game. What's? Okay. You start off. 10 get on, 10 shoot on, and 10 jump. What's? Get on the washies to the leg, shoot on to the ribs. Go down to the face. Hitch. Knee. And the open the right leg. Sun. Now your left leg. Chi. Go. Go and turn a little bit each time on your bottom foot. Rick. Hey, now we're going to ki today. Hey, hitch. Hey, knee. Hey, sun. Hey, she. Hey, go. Hey, rear. Hey, switch. Hutch. Hey! Ju. Hey! Ju. Hey! Now we us. Us. So maybe just split you up to the right. Us. Because now his legs are warm. Now it's a very good time to do some stretching. Guys, I keep on saying stretching is extremely important. Please do more stretching. Also now you have time at home. Time maybe a half an hour before the class, you just stretch. Sit right 
So it's the left. And very important that the front leg is straight. If you don't, then this foot should be up. Okay? From the front. And also very important the breathing. You breathe in and as you breathe out, you push a little bit more. In and out a little bit more. And re and you can come up. Okay, we're going to read. Thank you. Sorry. Okay, so Henry, you're going to carry on now. Uh, between two of us now, we're going to do some Ido Gecko, moving basics. We're going to do somewhat difficult combinations, but we're slowly going to build up. That will enable even the lower grade to keep up and also to learn something new. So, just, so we're going to be starting from Furudachi. Our standing position, or we, uh, our ready position, we're going to be moving into Senku Tsudachi. Stepping back, first block we're going to do is Chaburanuki. So the idea of this being somebody is attacking you coming from the front, you have to gain space for yourself, you step back, left hand goes to your right arm, arm slides up, lock, strong pullback, and now ready. So we're going to start with our right leg going back on itch, and on knee, our left leg is going to go back, right leg, uh, right hand to your left elbow, locking up, and down. Okay. Go itch. Knee. Next one, right leg back. Sun. Next one, left leg back. She. Go. Try not to do this, no, not to move, move your body forward and back. Always when you go back, keep your body straight. Rick! If somebody's attacking you, you must move quickly with the legs. Sit and move the Hutch! Two! Two! Yeah. Now we're going to do the same, but he's going to step back to Jodan Uki and Gyakuzuki to the body. Go itch. One. Now the next one, left leg back, and you're going to block right hand. Work it out. Left leg back, right hand. Knee. Also make sure that when you block, your hip goes slightly back, and when you punch, your hip comes forward. Right leg back. Sun. She. Make sure you punch the center of your body. Go! Left leg back. Rear. Right leg back. Sit. Hutch. Two. Two. Eight. Three. Us. And then we'll be shopping for. Now he's going to do very similar, except Jodanuki. He's going to do the Sotu. Right leg back, left Soshiran Sotu. Itch. And the Gyakus. And back. Now you're going to block right Sotu. Left leg back. Knee. Up. Up. Right leg back. Sun. Left leg back. She. Right leg back. Go. Left leg back. Rear. Right leg back. Sit. Left leg back. Hutch. Right leg back. Q. Left back, two, three, three, three. Last exercise will be a gerambrai. So you move back, my gerambrai, and a gerambrai. Right leg back, left gerambrai. Yoi, itch, knee, 
Very important, as you start moving back, you pick your hand up. Don't step, then pick your hand up. Sun. She. It's very important that we learn to be quicker, that you move your hands as your legs move. And don't do the hands, legs first, then the hands. Uh, try, try to use some hips because the hips give power. Sometimes you've got to be very quick, then you don't have so much time for the hips. But in basics, we try and use the hips. Go! This is better. Now he's going to step back left, get the right hand up quickly. Roll! Right leg back, switch. Hutch. And do. Hey! Move your hands quicker. The last year now he's going to try and move his hands quicker. Especially didn't do it so fast the first time, but as you step back, try and move your hand back. It's not easy. Right leg back, itch. Left leg back, knee. Sun. Go. Rick. Sit. Hutch. Two. And Jew. Hey. Us. What we just done? We call Ipon Kumutai. Ipon means one technique. Sometimes we do someone kumuti, with a kumuti, with a person attack you one, take two, and three, and then you count. And here there's just Ipon kumuti. So I'm, I'm aware that you do not have a lot of space at home. Now you can see Joshua Aikta got a big dojo, not everybody got a big dojo. So most of us got two or three meters. So one step is adequate for training now. Put the emphasis on a strong block, Fast block and a lot of power in the punch. Okay, next, he's just going to show you how to do the proper combination with a yoko giri. A yoko giri is a very important pick as we use it in a lot of the pinon katas and the advanced katas. Must be done correctly. He's going to take his time and teach you how to do a yoko giri correctly. Okay, um, we're just going to start yoko giri just from the standing position, kicking straight to the side. Later, I want us to do it yon jigudo, 45 degrees, moving into from a uh, kibirachi position into a zenkutsudachi for a punch, for gyakuzuki punch, reversal. So just from here, I want you to practice. Knee up in front of you. Remember to bend the knee slightly, big toe up, small toes down. You're going to, let's just practice, uh, and in the belt or... So maybe just keep going. Okay, and in your belt, we're going to turn the foot on the floor, kick out, back and down. Okay, and in your belt, knee up in front of you, look to the side, kick back and down. You've got to turn this foot at least 45 degrees, right? Let's take a little bit back so you can see my feet. Knee up in front of you, kick back and down. Oh, up, look, kick, back, down, cinch, look, kick, back, down, arch, look, kick, back, down, here, look, kick, back, down, Jew. kick, back, down. Okay, so we're going to go into Kibirachi, um, actually, Migi Senkutsudachi Mai Giramurai. Migi Senkutsudachi Mai Giramurai. Yoi. So your left leg's going to go back. You're going to block Senkutsudachi, Senkutsudachi, blocking with your right hand. Yoi. From the team. Hey. From here, we're going to step up in Shudachi Dachi, 45 degrees to the right. Yeah, I'm going to kick 
45 to the left, shifting in and bunching. And I step back. Then when I want to step with my kick with my right leg, step back into right uh, right leg. Left leg to Dachi, picking up my right leg, kicking, shifting, moving in punch. What's the first one? He's going to pick up his left leg. The left leg up each. He's really turn his body, knees facing there. Now he's going to twist and kick. Same time, do Urakan. Don't do the Urakan Jodan and the kick Shudan. Both he's done Shudan. Knee. And and back. <coughs> now right leg up, knee. Hands in, sorry, walking to my knee. And next one, left leg up, right, right side, walking to my sun. And doing it slowly, take your time. Make sure your kick comes back. And right leg up, and you walk in Kamai, right hand on top of the left hand, chi. And back. Left leg up, turn to your right, go. And back. Right leg up, turn to your left side, face, facing 45. Big toe up, small toe down, rip. And back, left leg up, turn to your right side, sitch, and back, right leg up, hutch, and back, left leg up, Ku. and back, right leg up, Ju and back. <coughs> Last thing, you're not going to speed it up because I want it done properly. Just try and put in a little bit more power. Make sure your foot comes back. And make sure if your toes, big toe up, small toe down. Make sure you pick your right hand up, yeah? And you keep it there where you kick because most people drop it for balance. And hitch. Make sure this hand is going to stay there when you kick now. Knee. And sun. Chi. I'm going to pick your left leg up. Go. Make sure of your foot position, big toe up, small toe down, roar. Also make sure that when you strike, it's a urakan and not a tetsu. Strike with the hand flat like this. Sitch. And hutch. And ku. And you us and we Next, I'm going to do a combination in Sanch and Dutch. But I'm going to start with right at the beginning. Put your thumbs in your belt. On Kamatai, put your right foot forward in Sanch and Dutch. Three, in and out. So a sunset stance is not long from the side. You see the toe is just behind your heel. It's not in the middle and it's not far back. Okay, so my right foot's in front. My legs are bent. I'm sitting and I'm moving. Never do this when you move. Sunset Dachi is from a, a Chinese origin. So we're moving in circle. Left leg for each. Ni. Sun. And back sabori each me sun one more chi and we're sitting down forward right leg forward my left leg is there in front each 
Neat. Sun. She. Sagori. Itch. Neat. Sun. She. And Shuranski. And put your gear as gear. So now my left foot is in front. My right hand is out. So I'm going to step in sun chin that chin. I'm going to punch gear as you keep. Shoot up. Itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. And Sagori. Itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Now a little bit faster. Make sure your hand stays tight. This mustn't move. This hand also mustn't do that. For each knee, sun, she, go. So for each knee, sun, she. Now I'm going to step forward. Shudan ski and say man Shudan uchiuki. For each knee, sun, she, clear, and sipping back. So I go to each knee, sun, she, go forward again, same. Just try and get finish the punch before you block forward. Each. Knee, sun, chi. When you block, don't move your elbow. So I'll go to each, knee, sun, chi. Kya. Now forward. Shudanski, Yakuzuki, Uchiuki, and Uraka. Okay, so back. Each. Me, Sun, Chi, Kyai, Sagori, Itch, Me, Sun, Chi, Kyai, Sagori, Itch, Me, Sun, Chi, Kyai, Sagori, Itch, Me, Sun, Chi. Now I'm going to pull his hand in, right in, and be Jodan Ijuchi. Itch, Me, Sun, she, Kya, Sagori, Itch, Me, Sun, Chi, Kya. Okay, last time forward, try and focus your techniques, punch in the center, Itch, Me, Sun, Chi, Kya, Sagori, Itch, Me, Sun, Chi, Kya, Me, I hope you could do it, the lower grades maybe not. If we do a combination that's too difficult, maybe just do the first two techniques. One, two. And take your time and develop it. You also have to step up a bit because the higher grades need also need to improve their skills. Great. Um, I just want to work on a few combinations that are prevalent in our pinan cutters that are our later cutters, maybe from blue belt on which you learn. So the two combinations what I'm going to teach you 
is you, the first one, you're going to step back with your left leg into kibirachi, blocking with your elbow, cross, and rock and sage. So, uh, application of this would be, so you're holding something in your hands. You cannot lift up your hands to block. So you have to block with your elbow. So what you're going to be stepping back with your left leg first, blocking with your elbow, because you just blocked here, you cannot get to the side. You're going to be hitting into his arm. Your arm has to go over and you strike Udo Kutsayi. So on the count of each, your left leg is going to go back. Block Udo Kutsayi. Uh, block with your, with your Iji. Cross. And Udo Kutsayi. And back. On knee, your right leg steps back. Lock with your elbow. Udo Kutsayi comes in. So another application would be somebody grabs you, you sit down, you block his hands away. Yoi. Luna, hey, come, come, come. Outside. Yoi. Itch. Lock. Strike. And back. Knee. One, two, and back. So make sure when you're blocking, your elbow is going past your center line of your body. If I'm blocking here, I'm not blocking the person. Has to go fast. Left leg going back. Sun. One, two, and back. Chi. One, two. Go. Lock, strike. Rook. Sage. Hunch. Now ring us. Look at the stakes. Okay. Second combination we're going to be teaching you. Some same application. Somebody's grabbing you. You're going to block for Roshiuki. Look at that. In Zenkutsudachi. Stepping back. Blocking one, two. This hand that's in front. Imagine somebody grabs up onto it. Around, stripping, striking Tetsui. Against the person, either their neck or to the body. Okay. So I'm first going to step back with my left leg. Blocking with my left hand down. And striking with my right hand, Nukite. So here we're striking to the solar plexus. So make sure you're practicing your finger push-ups at home. If you're not doing finger push-ups, you won't be able to do Lukite. From here, you break out. The hand goes, your elbow goes forward and the hand up. Step around with your back leg and striking uh, Itsui. So we're going to try it with our right leg going back now. Itch. One, uh, one, two, sorry. Left leg going back, one, two, okay, figure it out. Okay, so on the count of each, left leg back, starting over. Each, lock left hand, strike right. Break out, around, and strike. And back. Now, we're blocking with our right hand, striking with our left hand. Knees, one, two. Break out, around, struck, and back. Left leg going back. Sun, one, two. Break out, around, struck, back. She, one, two. Break out, around, struck, and back. Go. tricky, uh, not that easy because you have to do, uh, you have to focus on where you're moving, 
And um, uh, moving Udo like that around the back is quite challenging. Shinkaku breathing itch. Ni. And we're going to go down for push ups all together. So we're going to do three rounds of push ups now. 20 push ups, another 20 push ups, and another 20 push ups. Us. Make sure to, in between, to do your breathing. I want to see big push-ups being done. Okay, your, your push-up position. Itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hunch. Chi. Chi. Itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Rook, sitch, hunch, ki, chu. And yes, you may relax. But when you're getting your time, breathe. Focus on breathing in. Through the nose, out the mouth. Also, when you're doing your push ups, when you're going down, breathing in, and exhale when you're pushing up. So make sure you breathe in a rhythm as you're doing all the exercises and the techniques in the class. Okay, second round now. Make sure to do full repetitions. I don't want to see any Mr. Bean push ups. Ready, itch, me, sun, she, go, rook, sitch, hunch, he, chu, itch, me, sun, she, go, rook, Sitch, hunch, here, ju. And sitting down, you should start to feel a burn over here in your pectoral muscles. Make sure that you're breathing. You did as I already said it before. Also, your, uh, the, the alignment of your back. Make sure you're straight, not bum up or lazy dog. Straight, okay. Last set coming up now. Deep breathing, itch. Knee. Ta. All together. Ready. Itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hatch. Q. Chu. Itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go, rook, switch, hutch, cue, jiv. And yes, we stand up. Us, look dash day. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. Sengus. Next is and you will do a, a, a leg exercise with you guys. Guys, it is important to make your whole body strong. Your tummy is going to be strong unless a person, in case a person hit you. Um, also for kicking, the tummy muscles is involved in that. So if you have a weak tummy, you can try that. You can put your fingers in there, relax your tummy, push your fingers in, then try and kick. Because you will have no power. Because your kicking works from the stomach and the hip flexors. So the legs is important, the upper body, which is Henry just did the push-ups, or punches, and also taking punches. If you do a lot of push-ups, people can beat you here because you're strong. If you're not strong, you will feel it. And you know, the, the pectoral muscles here protect your heart. And your heart is just underneath your breastbone. So if a person hits you there, um, directly on your heart, it really makes you tired. You took a really hard, you can also his heart can go out of rhythm. And that's why important you can build his muscles up a bit, there's a bit of a cushion there. Okay, so push ups are important, tummy exercise is important, and legs. Because the legs carry you, and the legs take kicks, especially in your cushions. So you've got to be able to take kicks, you've got to be able to kick hard, and you've got to be able to move fast. If you've got weak, weak legs, you cannot move fast. But strong legs to move. Okay, so neck exercise is very important. This is 
Oops. Okay, so what we're going to be starting with, I want us all just to put your hands in your belts. If you're not wearing your gi or just wearing a normal top, put your hands in your hips. And we're going to go forward in a lunge, nice big deep lunge, and then a change. And back up. Okay, so I just start with the right leg, then we're starting with the left leg. Okay, ready, each. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Rook. Itch. Touch. Move. Okay. I just want to point something out. Your posture must always be up straight. So when you lunge forward, Posture is up, change, your posture stays the same. Puss. Okay, here we go again. Ready, each. Me. Sun. Chi. Go. Rook. Each. Touch. mobility as well, especially in our fighting stances, we must be able to move fast. So how are we going to practice that now? It's just by jumping up and down, so hanging your belt. And it's important to point out, look at my feet. Okay, we're just starting with jumping up and down. Ready? And hush me. Keep breathing. Now crisscross. Back in front. Let's cross. Back in front. Let's cross. Let's cross. Back in front, I mean. Let's cross. Lost him. Back in front. Cross. Front. Cross. And now we will your keys. And just uh, tying up to that, I want to do some Hatsuriki movement. Hatsuriki um, is where you move. But when you move to the right, your left leg moves first. When you move to the right, left, your right leg moves first. And you just move to the side. I want to move to the right. So I step out left and I step. I want to step left, I step out right and I step. So just try this to the side. Doesn't even matter if you go to the wrong side, just the opposite side goes first. Each knee, sun, she, go. This is also a very good exercise for rugby players. You run into a guy, you're falling bang the other way. That's just like a, what they call it, a step off. Now I'm going to go left, so I go right first. Look. 
switch, patch, cure, jew, itch, knee, sun, she, go, rib, switch, patch, cure, jew, ten more, itch, knee, just have your legs slightly bent, you don't have them long. Sun, she, go, rig, sitch, hutch, ku, ju. Now we're going to move forward and back. I'm going to turn to the side you can see better. I want to go forward. My back foot moves first. Each. I want to go back. My front foot moves first. Knee. Sun, she, go, rig, switch, hutch, cue, do, itch, knee, sun, she, go, rig, switch, hutch, cue, you. Some of you still won't get it. I know it's not easy. I'm going to do 10 more. I'm going to go forward. So first put your back foot back. Each and sit. I'm going to move back. Front foot goes forward. Knee. I'm going to go forward. This foot moves first. Sun. I'm going to go back. She. Go. Rick. Sitch. Hutch. Two, two. Now, now we're going to go forward and back. Three times four. Each knee, sun. Now I'm going to go back. Front foot goes forward first. Each knee, and sun. Forward again. Each knee, sun, and back. Each knee, sun. Now I can do a similar one where I skip. Each. Knee, sun, and back I skip. Each, knee, and sun. So please practice as we go home. Show again, moving right, right, left foot first. Moving left, right foot first. You just do this, it will become automatically. And why you do kubuta, you will do it automatically when you kick. Old Hatsuriki. Us, this is you want to do Shirogiri and Shirumawashi. Us, Shirogiri and Shirumawashi is a very, both very effective kick. I would say the Shirogiri, the straight one, is a, is a more effective one. Also, the more practical one that you can use in a, in a real situation. The Shirumawashi is very spectacular, beautiful technique to knock somebody out in a tournament, but it doesn't happen as often. But practicing it improves your skills and improves your balance. Okay, we'll see this. We'll start with the Shirogiri. We're going to break it up in four parts. Each just turn, leave your move your feet. Knee, picking his leg up to the knee. Sun, kick, back to the knee. She, stepping back. Each turn, knee, pick up. Sun kick and she back. So four, we take our time. Itch, knee. Now try to pick it up high that you can kick straight into your opponent. Sun, she, itch, knee, sun, she. A lot of people in this technique. Just before they kick, they do this. This is a bit of a giveaway, and they call it an extra movement. Sometimes you can do it where you step there to fool a person, but uh, the normal shirugiri, you do not step over. Okay, each turn, knee kick, so knee up, sorry, sun kick, and back she goes. Okay, hantai, now we do the other side. Now your right foot in front, like you just said. Now he's going to kick left. Each turn, 
put his toe on the ground. Knee, pick up. And you try and look over your shoulder at your opponent. Son, kick and pull back. She and step back. Itch. Knee. Son. She. Very important in this position not to be too square. If you're too square, you will be target here. Always turn your body a little bit. Each turn, knee pick up, sun kick, she and back. Each turn, knee up, sun kick and pull back, she and go back. Last one, each turn, knee up, sun kick, and she back. And change your back. Now, I'm not going to, I'm only going to say each. You're going to do the whole four techniques, but still count in your mind. One, two, three, four. Each, take your time. This is a difficult way to do it, putting it back. It teaches you very good balance. Knee. Sun. She go. Now from here we're going to do a slightly different now that after the kick he actually goes forward. So it means his opponent is further away from him. So you almost chase the guy. So, so each turn, kick in and pull in and follow him and step back. Knee, turn, kick and follow. So what you basically do when you kick him, you use your leg to straighten him up to the front. Sun. And back. She. And back. Go. And back. Okay, untie change. Now one count, although you still count in your mind, four counts. Turn, pick up, kick, and back. Not going to go forward now, we're going to go back. Itch. Knee. You'll notice that he might be stance a little bit narrower because if it's wide, it's quite difficult to do. Sun. Chi. And go. Now he's going to do five, where he's going to turn, kick, and use the leg to move forward, to follow up, because it's 10 to 1, you kick and your opponent has moved back, so you follow him and you knock him out of the room. Itch, and back. Knee, and back. Sun, and back. Chi, and back. Last one, go. And because it's facing me here. Yeah? So if he's fighting me and I'm close, then you do the first one where he turns and you normally then pick your leg up, but more to the side that you can go up immediately. You will kick me here on the side of my ribs and back. So you close up, turn, almost like a shield position, and back. Then turn, hook it in, and back. Now maybe I'm going to further away now, you use a straight one, and follow it. That is the difference. Further, you go forward as you kick. Closer, and yeah, and I promise you, a heel here, yeah, just above your hip bone, in a short rib, <laughs> will knock a lot of people down. Us, us. Um, shirumawashi. Us. The last technique we're going to do today is shirumawashi. Shirumawashi is also difficult to do. It's a technique which you hook. And the idea is also sometimes to come high and come down across, across your opponent's hands. Basically two movements. Each turns. And now knees all together. You hook it you, and you pull it in your right back. And knee. And back. Of course, you keep on turning. You sometimes get that. This orientated, so normally on each one we change. Change. Knee turn. 
knee kick and back and change sun turn knee and change she turn knee kick Go, turn and kick and put the right back and change. Yes. Go, turn, kick and back and change. Switch, turn, kick. Hutch, turn, kick. Q, turn and kick. And you turn and kick. Now, ready, boss? Boss, boss, what is in you? Can I help? Guys, that is our class for today. Um, we do basics, you know, the key on the basic techniques is something we must never neglect because that is what karate is about. A lot of people, when they do key on, uh, they get bored. They think, ah, oh, basics again. They're not focused and concentrating on it. And they feel they're wasting their time because they've done it before. If they have that attitude, you will be wasting your time. But standing there and trying to do everyone better, everyone stronger, every time a better starts, and trying to imagine how you first go into your opponent's ribs, that is very important. Instead of just standing there, not concentrating. So by doing your techniques over and over, you program your body. So if I do Jaranuki, for instance, I must imagine the attack. I block. Imagine the attack. Then you will train your brain. If you just stand there, you think, oh, my shoulders are getting strong. You're not really training your brain to be able to defend yourself in a true situation. I want to thank you, Mr. Henry, boss. Mr. Neil, boss. Thank you so much for your help. Boss. Um, guys, it's not so easy doing these classes because normally I walk in a class and just do it. Now I've got to think because we can't move much, we can't do a lot of katas. Katas you can practice at home is geki like the hive because it doesn't take a lot of space for the hive rates. Saya, that also doesn't take a lot of space because you basically just stay here. Sanchen kata, tribuki. Intention that cutters doesn't take a lot of space. So this week and next week, we are going to concentrate on those cutters. We will do it towards the end of the class, so the lower grades can try and do it with, or they can just sit out and watch. Guys, um, we booked this coming weekend is Easter weekend, and we've actually we we live in such a vacuum here because we never go out that I was actually not aware it was Easter weekend. Um, I will tell you tomorrow, we will actually send an email, what are these classes we're going to do. Because I think a lot of people would not like to train on Easter Friday because of the religious connotations, and we fully respect that. Because our karate, your cushion karate is for everybody. If you're Muslim and you don't want to train on a certain day, we understand that. If you're Christian, if you don't want to train on a certain day, we understand that. So um, by tomorrow, we'll send you out a WhatsApp, an email, just to tell you which classes we'll do this weekend. But I do not think we'll do classes because I think, um, I do not think people will be happy with that. Okay, so, so what's, what's? We might change one of the, do an extra class during the week to replace the one on the weekend. Okay, Rick, what's, what's? Guys, again, thank you so much for the, for the training. It's really good to see so many people out there. If you see your training buddy is not here, tell him to, to, uh, to also join us. If you have a friend who doesn't even do karate and he wants to join with, let him train with. If mama and papa want to train with, train with. Um, what I've done this holiday, I've got a pool. I started training in the pool. It's getting a bit cold now, it's already April. But it's quite tough this morning. Neil actually jumped in the pool at 5.30. We did half an hour kicks and punches in the pool. Last night, I and Henry went in the pool at about 5 o'clock too. So it's really good training in the pool, doing all the kicks and punches. I have dumbbells, which I use. 
it's a lot of resistance. The kicks as well. Your, your legs become strong doing maigiri, shirugiri, yokogiri in the water. So normally you stand up to here and then you do your kicks. Try and do 100 maigiris, 100 shirugiris, 100 yokogiris, and you really will feel the power coming into your legs. Thank you, Os. 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 Okay. Okay, guys, we see you for the next class. We send the whole week's classes to you. But like I said, tomorrow we will just confirm the, what classes because I actually forgot about these to begin. Thank you. Us, us.